Hey guys, it's Hogan here. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create an affiliate program for your Shopify store using UpPromote. So having an affiliate program is really important for your e-commerce website because you allow affiliates to join your program and they can promote your store using an affiliate link. So they can create content for your store, driving a lot of traffic and potential sales for your website. And it's really great because you don't have to pay upfront. So you only pay once they actually make a sale for you. So it's a very low risk way of advertising. And I feel like it's definitely very underutilized with a lot of stores spending a lot on paid advertising, not knowing if they're gonna get any sales. So I'm gonna jump to the computer and show you a quick demo of what you'll be learning in this video. So I just wanted to give you a quick tour of basically what you'll be learning in this tutorial. So I'll show you guys how to create your affiliate program. So for example, once I click on this link here, they'll be navigated to join your affiliate program and they can enter in the details and they can sign up and register to join. Once approved, they'll get access to a dashboard area and then they can click on this link over here and promote this affiliate link. If their audience or if their visitors purchase through that link, they'll get a commission which is tracked by UpPromote and the commissions will appear here. Once they have been approved by you, then you can go ahead and pay them. So you can also get a product link as well. So if they want to promote a specific product. So there's a lot of features that I'll go through in this tutorial today. There'll be no coding involved. Everything's very easy to set up and free as well. I'll also show you some other interesting features such as the refer and earn feature, which basically allows visitors to share a link with their friends and they each get a discount on their order. So this is really great to really grow your traffic and really grow your sales without doing any paid advertising. So I'll also show you guys a lot of other really cool features of UpRemote and all of this is without any coding. It's all very easy to set up. I'll show you guys everything that you need to know and I'll also leave some timestamps in the descriptions. So if you want to skip to any section, you can. So without much further ado, let's get started in this tutorial. Okay, so let's get started. So to actually install the app, you'll have to search for UpPromote in your Shopify store. So just log in, or you can also click the link in the description below this video. So we can click on search over here and you can type in UpPromote. And then over here, you'll find it. If you don't find it, you can also go over here, search UpPromote in the Shopify app store. And again, you can do the search up here and it should be the first one on the left here. So you can click on this one and then we can install it. Over here, click on install on the bottom right. So I'm just gonna close the top windows up here. So you can also pin it to your navigation, which I normally do for the most important apps. So it stays there. So over here, you can fill in your details, your email address, as well as a password. So I'm just gonna set that in. And then over here for the subpath, you can rename it. So right now it is a, just some numbers and uh, alphabet. So we can actually change it to, for example, your name of your brand, shark slippers, for example. And therefore the URL for the registration link will actually have your brand name in here. You can also change the dom domain name of it as well. Um, if you do have the paid plans, um, I'll show you that a little bit later. So over here, I'm gonna untick this and I'm gonna click on register. So here I'm gonna select expand affiliate network, but you can choose whichever one suits you the best. Click on next. And I have zero affiliates right now. Click on next. Select your industry. I'm gonna select fashion. Click on start quick setup. So here we can click on get started. On the bottom right here, you've also got a really responsive live chat option. If you run into any issues, they reply really quickly so you can get in touch with them if you need. With the commission structure, I normally have both of these ticked. So basically, uh, if you assign a coupon code to someone and someone actually uses the coupon code, it'll also be tracked to that specific affiliate. I normally keep that checked. And for the commission type, you can set a percentage of sale. So this is most popular if you are a uh, e-commerce store selling physical products. Sometimes you might be selling digital products and you might offer a flat rate per order. So in this case, I'm gonna select percent of sale and I'm gonna set it to 10%. So you can raise that later for specific affiliates depending on how well they do, but 10% is a good starting point. Um, you can raise or we can re reduce that depending on, for example, how sort of competitive your niche is. Like for example, if you're in a niche where 
everyone is offering, you know, 10%, you might want to offer 15% for your affiliates. So they promote you instead. So we're going to click on save and click on next. So here is just asking us to create a test affiliate account. So we can go ahead and create that and see how that process works as well. So click on create accounts and I'm going to set in a password too. click on create. So once that has been created, you'll basically receive a email saying that an affiliate has actually signed up to your program over here. And as an affiliate, basically they'll also get a thank you for registration of our affiliate program. And then they'll also get another email asking them to confirm their email. So they can click onto that to basically confirm they have uh, signed up over here. All right. So let's go back over here and here we can activate their affiliate account. So this is what we've signed up with and you'll need to activate it before they can actually start promoting. Click on close and then click on next. So over here is going to be their affiliate link or your affiliate link. So basically they can take this link and promote it to their audience through content, uh, through their blog, social media, or anything like that. And they can share that link. So once someone actually clicks that links and purchases, then that sale will be attributed to them and you'll pay them a commission, right? So they'll also get a sort of custom affiliate dashboard area, which I'll show you where they can actually find this link. Okay. So here we can click on next and here we can select, uh, what payouts do you want to pay your affiliates in? Uh, you can use PayPal bank transfer. These are the most popular, but you can use other ones as well. Um, it really depends. It really just, uh, lets the affiliate know how the payments is done. Um, but you can discuss how, um, to actually do it with them as well. So perhaps you might want to use another method. Personally, I would use uh, wise, uh, because they have the best rates, um, in terms of conversion rates, especially if you're paying like affiliates in different currencies and things like that. You've also got the in-app payouts. Basically that means that you can do auto payouts via PayPal or store credit. So these are normally on the paid plans. So we can go ahead and click on save and finish. So the affiliate program is actually set up and it's all running uh, right now. So we can click on go home. So over here, we can actually promote this form to our affiliates, right? So the first thing that you probably want to do is actually, for example, we can copy that link. Okay. I'm going to close these windows on the top for now. And let's say we go over here, paste that in. So this is basically the link that they can use to register. So generally what I like to do is to put this affiliate uh, registration page on my website. So for example, I want to link it, uh, on my footer section of our website. So that's what I want to show you to do right now. Okay. So we can go back over here. So make sure you copy this link to your clipboard. And then what you can do is go to online store. So generally what you can actually do is you can go to the navigation, right? And depending on where you want it. So let's just say, for example, you want it, um, for example, on the top over here, you can add it to the main menu navigation, right? So let's just show you guys how to do that. You can click into the main menu like that, add menu item. And for example, we can name this affiliate program, and then you can paste the link that we actually, um, copied before, paste that in, and then we can add and save menu. Okay. So once you've actually added that in, then if you click back over here, you'll have your affiliate program listed over here and people can sign up. So how I've actually structured my website is that if I go back over here to my online store, I want to click on customize here. I actually want it to add to my footer section. So I'm going to scroll down to my footer section over here. And how I've structured it is I've added actually text sort of modules in this section here. I want to click into that. And then basically I've just added my menu, uh, with text and link. So basically I'm going to go insert link and then paste that registration link in there like that. And for the link title, I'm going to leave that as is insert and then save. And then we can go exit. Let's go over here and view that again. So we have the affiliate program up here if you want it to be on the top, but generally I like to keep it on the bottom or the footer of the website. 
So when people click on that, they can actually register. So what I want to show you guys now is how to customize the look and style of your affiliate registration form to make it a lot more professional. So currently this is what it actually looks like. So we're going to go ahead and edit it. So let's go back to our Shopify dashboard area. Let's click on the up remote affiliate. So if you don't see that, you can do a search on the top over here and search for up remote, scroll down over here, customize your affiliate registration form. Click on that. So it's actually very straightforward. All the changes that you make on the left will actually be displayed visually on the right hand side. So for example, you can click on it and you can change the font. I'm going to actually leave it as this because I think it's quite nice for the background color. So you can choose a page background color, or you can also change it to a um, image as well. So in this case, I'm going to change it to a color. So I'm going to go back to my website here. And what I'm going to do is you can actually download a app or a Chrome extension called Colorzilla and you can click on it. Okay. And pick color from page. So here it's actually going to allow you to pick a color that is from your page. So I just want to keep everything on theme. So I've selected that color and then I can head back over here and then I can change the page color. So let's just paste that in. Okay. Delete that one. Okay. So it looks like that. Um, I don't think that looks the best. So I'm actually going to remove that one. So what I'm going to do is edit the sidebar color. So this one over here, paste that in. Okay. So I'm just going to keep it like this. And obviously that's not very visible. So you want to make sure all the text is visible. We're going to change the color of that. So you can click on the color selector, perhaps change it to black or a dark gray. Same thing with the subheading like that, pull it in. Okay. So I think that looks really nice and we can scroll down over here. We can add in a logo or a title. Okay. So here you can actually upload your logo. So you can click on that and then over here, scroll down, choose a logo. Okay. So we're going to select the logo from here, open, click on save. And then I'm going to navigate back over here to up remote affiliate, click back on that registration form, go back to the logo and title. Okay. As you can see, that has changed, but I think it actually removed the um, background color here because we didn't save the changes. So let's just paste that back in, save that. And okay. Don't show again here. Let's just change the color back to the black color. Same thing over here. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. Here is the benefits text. So here you can add any information that you need. For example, let's say if you want to edit some text, uh, for example, the additional terms, uh, we could do, uh, excludes shipping and taxes or something like that. Okay. So the commission doesn't actually include any, uh, shipping fee that they actually pay. The customer actually pays. So you can write that in here. Um, you can also edit the information depending on your, uh, affiliate program. So we can scroll down here with the form fields. You can also edit the form fields here and display, uh, what is necessary. So for example, what I would personally do is I would probably include some things like maybe the country that they're from, uh, perhaps their website, um, if they have sort of social media, because you don't really want everyone to promote your affiliate program. Um, you want to sort of filter them. Otherwise there's a lot of people that you have to manage, but they're not driving any sales. So we can just go ahead and select some of that. And you can also select payment uh, method. So people can actually select which payment method they want, um, or you can, you know, discuss that with them later. So it really depends on how you want to do that. You can also add additional fields. Uh, for example, add additional field, um, you know, more info and then, uh, input type. So you can change it to long answer, perhaps click on add. Okay. So if they want to add any more information, they can do that. And you can also set it to be, uh, required. Um, if you want to as well. So for example, edit, and you can set that to be required, apply, and it'll have a little red asterisk there. All right. So let's scroll down over here for the capture. You can include that for the button. You can also change the button color. So for example, um, we can also go back over here and maybe let's pick another color. So something on the page as well, maybe a little bit lighter like that copy, and then go back here and we can do the color 
So just paste that code in there. Okay, and then for the button text color, make that black. And I think that looks okay. And then over here, you can also um, change the login button text color as well. So for example, paste that in there. Okay, so this is, is gonna edit this one over here. So I'm actually gonna change that to, let's just leave that, change the button color. Okay, just the outer like that, and that looks pretty good. Then for the terms and conditions, we can click that and you can use the sample terms and conditions by clicking on this and that's gonna generate the pre-created one and you can make sure and check the terms and see how that suits your business and edit it accordingly. Same thing with the privacy policy, okay? You can generate that and read through that and see what is um, that you can actually use and you can edit the rest. So scrolling down over here, you can also add a translate function on the top over here like that, um, or you can remove that. So you can also add custom CSS if you wanna custom uh, sort of the look and style even further um, by entering the code over here. Social sharing, you can add that in. For the up promote branding, I think you'll need the paid plan to actually remove this thing on the bottom over here, okay? So if you do have that, then you can remove that if you want to. And then make sure you save changes and another really important thing is that you can also click on the mobile view as well to see how that looks, okay? Make sure that's looking good. And then click on the thank you page. So over here, you can make it a little bit more on theme as well. So for example, let's change the button color. So let's just try to change that up. Text color, let's make it a dark color. Okay, so I think that looks really good. For the logo, okay, logo is showing. The font, you can change that. Um, I think that's looking okay. Then we can just click on save changes. So here we can click on back, okay? And let's go ahead and refresh our affiliate page. So over here, click on refresh. All right, so that looks pretty good. So next I'm gonna show you guys the affiliate dashboard, basically what your affiliate will see and where they can actually get their affiliate link to promote. So what I wanna show you now is the affiliate dashboard area. So this is more important for your affiliates, but it's also very important for you to understand so that when they ask you any questions, you can walk them through, especially getting your affiliate link. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to here, okay, get the affiliate login link, and then they'll navigate to the login page over here. So you can ask them to bookmark that to their browser, or you can also add that as a menu item on your page as well, on your website. So here we're gonna go ahead and log in to the test account uh, that we created earlier. So we're gonna verify that, click on login. So here is gonna be the dashboard area showing the commissions, uh, pending commissions approved as well as the paid. But the most important part is the affiliate link. So over here, they can just click on copy, okay? And this is gonna be the affiliate link they can use to promote. So for example, they can have it in their YouTube description, they can have this link on their blog, or they can promote this link on all other social media platforms as well. So for example, we click over here, and let's just paste that link. Then that's going to redirect um, back to the homepage, okay? So that's gonna track back to that specific affiliate. And if a customer purchases, then basically if we go back here over here, then you'll see the um, commissions, right? So they can copy that and they can also get a product link as well. So basically, as you can see, that's linking to their homepage only. You can also um, get them to promote specific products. So you can click on get product link. And here we can, for example, we can just search for a product or browse the product list. So let's just, for example, let's just find a product, for example, glow in darky or fruit edition sliders, select that. And then we can click on generate copy and save. So over here, we can copy that. And that's gonna link directly to that specific product. Okay, so that's a really great way to do it as well. Again, that's gonna track back to them. And we can head back over here and close that. Then for the get link with source. So the benefit of this is actually, it's gonna tell you where that sale came from. So for example, if you are a YouTube content creator, you could do YouTube, okay? And we can click on generate. And basically we can copy this link and you can paste it into YouTube description. 
And if people purchase that, then it's going to track back as YouTube, right? But then you might have, you know, Facebook as well. Then you might create another source, which is Facebook. And then you can basically track, you know, how effective your sort of whole marketing campaign is for that specific affiliate, right? So you can go back over here and generate, copy it and use the link. So those are the most important uh, features here. Here we've basically just got the stats of the performance. Uh, this is going to be important for your affiliates to understand commissions over here. Okay. And this is going to show the list of commissions payment. So basically your uh, payments and the marketing tools. So for the marketing tools here, you can basically upload some sort of marketing assets such as like logos, or you might have like banners that they can actually use um, in their campaigns. So I'll show you guys where you can actually add that in in a second. So for the settings here, um, they can add in their details. So you, sometimes you might need like their sort of tax information or company information for you to pay them. Uh, you've got the payments, so they can select which payment method um, they would like, and then obviously put in the PayPal email and save changes. Um, they can also set up sort of notifications. Do they want that to be on? Uh, for the guide here, you can uh, sort of customize the guide as well. And then you can also perhaps create a specific YouTube video walking them through the affiliate dashboard area and how to use and how to actually set up the affiliate links properly. And you can put that information here and link it over here. So to actually change or edit the guide information and the marketing tools, we can actually head back over here. So from here, we need to click on motivation and then for the media gallery, add media. And then here we can click on add media. You can also add specific categories like logos, or you might have banners. You might have just images of products and you can set up categories. So for example, I'm going to add just an image. So this one, for example, is like a logo. And then I'm going to choose a file open, save changes. So that logo has been uploaded. So if we go back over here to the marketing tools, so here is the logo and they can download that and they can use that for their marketing campaigns. And then for the guide, so where can you actually add or change the information here? We can go back to here and then go to the settings area, then go to the affiliate admin and then click on the guide page. So from here, you can edit the text here and you can click this uh, link here and you can change the link to whichever YouTube video um, that you've uploaded specifically for them. And then you can obviously, um, you know, save it as well, okay? So that's the very basics of the affiliate dashboard area. Next, what I wanna show you guys is how to create a coupon for your affiliates. So obviously this is a very important uh, feature because you can create a coupon code and you can give that to your affiliates and they can promote that coupon to their audience and hopefully saving them some money. And that's gonna increase their conversions, which is probably gonna increase your sales as well. First of all, we can navigate to settings and system settings, click on affiliate link and coupon. You wanna make sure the coupon tracking is sort of uh, activated. Okay, so once you have that activated, then we can go to motivation. And then here we can click on manage coupons. So I'm gonna add a new coupon. So I click on that. And we're gonna select the affiliate. So in this case, we have uh, myself that we've created the test account on. So we're gonna select that. And then for the coupon code, I'm just gonna go enter Hogan 10 for perhaps a order discounts uh, of 10%. So it's gonna be a fixed amount, actually a percentage over here. So 10% like that. And then for the minimum purchase requirements, I'm gonna leave that as empty, but you can change that if you want to as well. And you can also edit this one, uh, one use per customer if you want. So we can go ahead and save. So basically this coupon is linked to this specific affiliate and their sort of uh, audience is going to get 10% off the entire order if they use this coupon code. So you can share that with your affiliates and I think that's a very, very useful feature. So I just wanna quickly go over some of the general settings of UpPromote. So you can navigate to settings here and then the system settings, general. 
So we're going to scroll down. So some of these features are only activated with the paid plans, which I'll talk about a little bit later on. But if we scroll down over here, we've got the cookie settings. So this is basically how long is that link going to track for. So you may want to extend this depending on basically how competitive your niche is. Perhaps you could offer 60 day cookies. That basically means that that link is going to track longer. So therefore that affiliate probably has a better chance of actually converting that sale under their name. So basically getting more commission. So there are some affiliate programs that are 30 days, some are like 60 days. Some people have it at 180 days. It really depends on you and what you want to do. So you can set that here. So you've also got the notification settings as well over here and you can enable them or disable them depending on what you want to do. Affiliate link and coupon. So again, this one over here, if we scroll down, we've also got the shortened link feature. Basically, if you know what bit.loi uh, is, basically helps you shorten the affiliate links. And essentially, if you are on the professional plan, you can actually enable that. And basically, your affiliates can actually shorten the link in their affiliate dashboard. So that might be a great feature uh, for you to actually look at. The UTM settings, so it's basically some advanced tracking settings. Uh, this is the tracking by coupon. So I talked about this earlier. Um, we're going to leave everything else as defaults. And for the product analysis, um, this is pro settings, the payment settings over here. So you can uh, check that. And this basically just allows them to select which payment method they want to do. Um, only on the, I think, professional plan, um, you're able to set up the auto payout with the PayPal. So integration, you can also integrate with other sort of email marketing services as well, which is great if you do email marketing for your brand as well. So we can go to the fraud detection. So normally I would uh, enable this one. So to prevent bots from signing up onto your website. So we can set that in and enable it and then save. So we can also click on advanced. So with the advanced feature over here, this basically just allows uh, let's say, for example, someone clicks on the affiliate link. This will actually show on the homepage on the top uh, notification. So this might increase in conversions for your affiliates, which basically gets you more sales as well. So this is, I think, on the professional plan, which I'll show you guys how to set in uh, later on. Then we've got the profile settings. So here we can enter in the details, registration form, guide form, a login form. So we uh, went over those ones earlier. Um, you can also change the account language here as well. And you've got the account text. You can update that, but generally leave that as default. Account customization. Uh, generally, I just keep that as default as well. I wouldn't really show the customer's name unless we had to investigate some uh, issue and things like that. So I just keep that as defaults. And here you can enter in custom CSS or custom JavaScript. If you do need to customize something uh, about the you know forms or anything like that. So once those settings are done, then it's good to go. So you can also navigate to outreach over here. So over here, you can actually um, customize the emails. So you can click on manage emails and you can customize the email messages depending on what you want to do and then save. And if we go back over here, you can also enable, I think the live chat uh, via the dashboard area as well. Um, if you do have the growth plan or higher. And then you can also click on the analytics. So this is basically where you can track basically how many affiliates you have, total referrals and total sales and things like that for your business. Then you can also click on the referrals. So this is where you can manage all the referrals and details here. So for example, this is a referral here and you can either approve it or you can deny it. So you can actually click into here and view the details so you can see basically the customer's information and things like that and see if it's actually a real referral for example you know they're not um, basically just purchasing from their own link and you can go back over here and then you can either approve or deny it so you can also click on deny let's say for example um, you do deem it as a real referral you can also click on undo as well so you can also add in a referral as well. So you can manually add in uh, from a specific order ID. Um, you can also set in a fixed amount. So for example, let's say the commission amount is $20. 
uh, the total sale is $200 and you can enter in a comment, um, basically just saying where that came from and you can assign it to a specific affiliate. So basically this $20 commission amount will be added to their affiliate payout. So we're just gonna go ahead and discard that. So another very interesting feature on the free plan of Upromote is the marketplace listing. So this is gonna give your affiliate program uh, some exposure in the Upromote marketplace. So again, this is on the free plan and you can navigate to the outreach section. Scroll down over here to the marketplace listing and you can click on edit offer. So here you can edit the details of your affiliate program. So for example, we can set in the target audience. So we can select all, or we can select the specific age range. Uh, you can select a specific target audience, or you can select all, and you can customize basically, you know, which countries that you want to target as well. So you can set that in. So let's just say, for example, we type in United States here and maybe United Kingdom like that. Okay, so you can select your countries here and the preferred promotional channels, for example, uh, YouTube, TikTok, and let's say a blog, and you can select it depending on what you want. Here we can set the basics of the affiliate program. So you can check that out depending on what you wanna do. And here we can also put in a description. So you can select the category and also a description. So what I've basically done here is actually I have gone ahead to ChatGPT and basically just set up the um, prompt. So I am setting up an affiliate program for my store called Shark Slippers. We sell high quality custom design slippers for kids and adults. And then I'll just tell them, you know, I just wanted to set up an affiliate program. Can you provide me some basic information here? So as you can see, I've just pulled this information here and then we can click on generate. Okay, so ChatGPT is very, very amazing if you haven't used it already. And you can take a lot of this information here and use it as inspiration and edit whichever you feel is necessary. And then we can use it. So let's just, for example, wait till that is finished uh, loading. Okay, so I think that's good. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that. And let's just paste that in. Okay, so obviously you'd probably want to edit that as well. So it's gonna paste that in like that. And then here we can scroll down so you can select all the products or um, you can select a few feature products as well if you want to, okay? Select the category and just fill in the information over here. Basically you wanna fill in as much information as possible so then when people come across your affiliate program, they're interested in promoting it. So I'm just showing you basically just a quick start uh, way of just setting it up. And here we can click on view offer. So this is gonna appear in the up promote marketplace. And there are quite a number of other affiliate programs uh, listed on here. So it's something like this. And then affiliates can actually go ahead and apply. So this is a really cool feature. And let's head back over here. So what I wanna show you now is the process of paying out your affiliates commission. So it's quite simple. So with the free up promote affiliate uh, plan, you only have the manual payout option, uh, but it's fairly easy and straightforward. So when you're ready to pay your affiliates, then you can go to the payouts tab over here and you can search the affiliate name. You've got the payment method as well as the information. Let's say for example, this affiliate has chosen bank transfer, then I will basically do a bank transfer for $10 to their account. And once I've done that, which is outside of the app, then I'll mark it as paid. So they can also select from different payment methods. Uh, let's say for example, this is a dashboard area. They can select different payment methods and enter in the details. For example, if they have a PayPal account and they want me to transfer via PayPal, I can do that uh, by using my PayPal business account, which is gonna be all manual. So if you do want auto payouts, uh, for example, linked with PayPal and the app, you can sign up for the professional plan and that basically will sort of uh, automate the process of sending money to your affiliates and the amount uh, that they need to actually get paid. This process is quite simple. Uh, the only other thing that you might need to know is click on view more settings and you can click on payments over here and then you can basically um, enable whichever method that you allow and that's gonna show up here. So it's gonna allow them to select 
these different payment methods. It basically just collects that information for you to pay them out uh, manually. So that is basically it in terms of the payment and for the auto payment, uh, this is the setting uh, here. Uh, if you do have the professional plan, you're able to set out and schedule the date of uh, when you want to pay. And then you can also set the minimum affiliate commission. So a lot of affiliate programs will actually set, for example, a minimum of 100 uh, US dollars and only pay out once it hits uh, over that amount. So that's about it for the payment settings. So something I forgot to mention is that your affiliates can also choose to be paid in store credit. So essentially once you've marked it as paid, then you can generate a coupon code for your affiliate for the amount of the commission to be paid to them. And once you've generated that, then in their affiliate dashboard area, they can navigate to payment. And here is the payment total processed store credit. They can click on the detail and then they can use the coupon code, which is automatically generated uh, of $10 at checkout to get $10 off their purchase on your store. So this is another really sort of useful feature um, if you want to give your affiliates store credit instead of a traditional payment to the bank account or PayPal account. So essentially we've gone through pretty much all the most essential features that you need for your affiliate program for your Shopify store. And that's basically just on the free plan over here. So you can actually go to pricing and you can actually see the other paid plans and you can take a look at it for yourself and see which one is most suitable for you. But right now I'm actually going to show you guys my top 10 favorite features of the paid plan. So you can actually see how that's going to work within your own business and see which one is most suitable for you. And then you can choose the right plan for yourself. So one of my favorite features is going to be the customer referrals. So basically how it works is we'll have this button on your page, either like on the bottom left or the bottom right or in the middle, and you can click it. And essentially you can enter in an email address. Uh, you can get an invite link, which you can send to your friend. And then if they purchase, you will also get a discount as well. So it's a really great way to actually incentivize people to share your website and to really grow your brand and get additional traffic to your website without really paying too much. So we can go back over here and I'll show you guys how to enable it. I think it's on the outreach here. Click on the customer referral setup and all you need to do is activate it. Then down here, you can set in the discount. So it can be a fixed amount or it can be a percentage or even free shipping. So in this case, it's $10 uh, each for the friend and you as well. And then we can go ahead and save. And then you want to make sure you click here go to app embeds. And then from here, you want to make sure that you enable it. So it actually displays it on your website. So on the left hand side here, make sure this is enabled the customer referral up promote here, right? Then we can go back here, then click on manage. Okay. And make sure this is activated. So this is the widget uh, that you see on the bottom here, right? And then from here, you can customize the design. So you can change the colors of the links. You can change the position. So on desktop or mobile, for example, on the right hand side bottom page, you can also change it to the right center, perhaps left bottom if you want that uh, as well. And then you can change the color over here. So again, uh, to get the color from our website, I normally use a color picker tool like Colorzilla. Then pick color from page, select the color here, come back here and just enter in the color code or you can select the color from here. So try to match it with the color scheme of your website. So it just looks really professional. You can also click on the content and you can edit the message over here, but generally it should be okay. Um, but you can tweak it if you want to, and we can save changes. And then that is set up. So it literally takes like a few minutes, but I think it's one of the most effective ways of promoting your store. So the next feature that I really like, is going to be the feature where it actually shows the message bar where uh, it shows that the discount has, has actually been applied. Um, so we're going to go to settings. So for that, you want to navigate to the settings system settings, then click on advance. And here we want to enable the message bar. Then you also want to check the app embeds and make sure that has been enabled as well. 
so that it actually shows up on our pages. So over here, okay, make sure that is checked off and then we can save it. Then let's go back over here and here we can edit the design of the message. So you can click on edit and you can do your shopping with affiliate name. So for example, I've got your shopping with Hogan Chua and then perhaps you could do something like discounts applied like this or it could be like 10% discount applied, right? So you can change how you want to change the message. You can also customize the font, font size, text color, as well as the background color. I'm just gonna keep it as that and then click on save. Let's go ahead, go to here. Let's copy that again, close that and let's paste that in again. Hopefully that's going to show up now. Okay, so it's gonna show up something like this. You're shopping with Hogan Chua, discount applied. So that is gonna increase your conversions for your affiliates and in turn, getting you guys more sales as well. So that's my second favorite uh, feature and that feature is actually on the professional plan. So another really cool feature is gonna be the incentive feature, which is available both on the professional plan. So you're basically able to send products or gifts to affiliates or you're also able to uh, enable bonuses if they hit certain targets. So I'm gonna go through the first one, which is gifts. So I can click on set up here. Here we can create a new gift. And here we can do a welcome gift. So for example, welcome gift. And you can set it to send automatically or you can send it manually as well. I'm gonna set it automatically. And here we're gonna set a program is gonna be the standard program. Then here for the gift type, it can be a free gift or a discounted product as a gift. So in this case, I'm gonna do a free one. So here for the shipping fee, normally I probably wouldn't charge that one. And scrolling down over here, so they can choose uh, perhaps uh, one product here, and then you can search a product, for example, this one here, or you can sort of create a specific, maybe like a, uh, maybe like a t-shirt or like a uh, jumper with your brand logo on it that they can have. Uh, sort of like an affiliates uh, pack and that can be a free gift. But in this case, I'm just gonna select these shark sliders, add that in. And here, obviously you can choose how many they're able to select. I've just selected this one, okay? And I'm gonna allow them to choose the color and size and then I'm gonna click on save. So once they've actually been approved as an affiliate, they'll be able to redeem this free gift here. So let's head back over here and you can also edit the email template uh, that it actually sends as well. So we're gonna click on back and you've also got the bonuses. So let's click on set up for the bonuses and we're gonna create a new bonus. And here we can do a bonus title. Let's just say for example, you may give them a bonus of $1,000. So just do bonus $1,000, select the program that you want it to appear for select that one and target number of referrals. So this could be, let's say if they refer maybe 100 people, then they're able to receive a bonus of $1,000. So this is gonna be a one-time bonus. So it can be a fixed amount here, okay? And let's just say for example, $1,000 like that. So if they get 100 referrals, they're eligible for $1,000 and it's going to be a, just a one-time thing. And then here, we're gonna click on I'm aware. So make sure you check this properly. So basically after they've actually received 100 referrals, then the system will automatically add $1,000 to that affiliate, okay? So you can set that in and click on save. So you can also create multiple bonuses. For example, you can create one where, let's say for example, they hit 20 referrals, then they get $200 bonus, or if they hit 50 referrals, they might get a $500 bonus, and you can set that up. So these two features are also really good to basically incentivize your affiliates to promote your store and your products even more. So another really cool feature is the auto tier commission feature, which basically allows you to sort of create multiple tiers in an affiliate program. For example, you can have your standard tier, which is 10% commission to your affiliates. Then you can have another level, which is like, for example, 12% and 15% and so on. So you can add additional uh, affiliate programs. Once you've actually done that, you can set the amount of commission that you wanna pay for that specific tier. 
And then what you can do is you can click on auto tier commission. So this is part of the professional plan, I believe. So let's click on that. And it's very easy to activate, just activate here. Here we can set the total sales of all referrals, or generally I like to use the total referral quantity. Um, you can use that, or you can also use the total earned commissions as well. So it really depends on what you wanna do. Um, it might be the sales, or it might be the referral quantity, or the commissions. Uh, so I might set that one, for example. And the level one is basically just the standard one, and this is all affiliates. They'll start off here, and then they can click on add on new level. So here we can set the total number of referrals to let's say 100 and that's level two. So once they pass the threshold of 100 referrals, then they will be automatically enrolled into the affiliate program um, that you set here. So we can add another level. So for example, tier three, this might be a final level and you might pay 15% to your top uh, affiliates. So from here we can click on save and basically that's all automated and set in. So it's a really cool feature on the professional plan. The next feature that I'm gonna show you is gonna help your affiliates get more clicks on their affiliate links. So what I mean by that is on the professional plan, it will also allow you to generate custom links for your affiliates. So what I mean by that is if we go to our affiliate dashboard here, we have the default affiliate link so this is the default affiliate link and it does have a bunch of numbers here uh, which your affiliates can actually use and that's working fine. But this feature is gonna allow you to create a custom affiliate link for them. So for example, the affiliate link is gonna look something like this and it's just a lot cleaner and that is probably gonna increase the click-through rate of the affiliate links, driving more sales for your business. So here we're gonna go back and this is on the professional plan. So here we can actually enable the feature, affiliate link and custom link, just enable that. So here we have the link format. So what I recommend over here is also generating it for your existing affiliates. So they also get that feature. Then next we can uh, grab a few variables here and paste it on our URL. So for example, I like to use full name because sometimes if you have a lot of uh, affiliates, then the first name might be taken or something like that. Or you can also combine it as well. So you can just paste that in like full name. You can also combine it. So for example, with the affiliate ID as well, you can do something like that if you want to. Uh, but generally full name is just nice, clean and easy. So I'm gonna leave it as that. You can also uh, allow your affiliates to edit the custom link as well. Uh, that really depends on what you wanna do. Um, I'm just gonna leave it as defaults and we're gonna click on save. So once you've saved that, then you may want to resync your affiliate links here and confirm. So once that is resynced, then you can navigate over here, refresh the page. So you can log into your test affiliate account and it's going to look something like this. So over here below the default affiliate link, they will also get a custom affiliate link, which they can use. So something that I do have to mention is that let's say, for example, you do want to get a product link. So let's just say, for example, a product link, then we can select a product and let's just select a random product here. For example, this one here, and then click on generate, copy and save. And if we actually paste that over here, this one still does include a sort of all the numbers at the back over here. Um, so it may be a bit long, uh, but I think it's okay in my opinion. Uh, but if you do want to uh, make it a little bit shorter for your affiliates. You can go back over here, scroll down, and on the shortened link, you can enable this. So to enable this, you do have to have a professional account with Bitly. So you can go to Bitly over here and you can sign up, get a professional account. And then what you'll need to do is basically come back over here and paste in the access token and the custom domain. So basically, instead of this affiliate uh, URL, it's going to be a shortened version, which is going to look something like this. So I'm sure you guys have probably seen a bit.ly link before. Um, it's just a shorter version. I think it is probably not too necessary um, because at the same time, you know, it's shortened, but then it does still have a lot of, you know, numbers and things like that anyway. Um, but yeah, it really depends on you. And uh, I think if you think it might may help, then you can actually set that up as well. So those two features are gonna be really useful in 
improving your click-through rates uh, for your affiliates. So a really cool benefit is actually the chat with affiliates feature. So this is actually on the growth plan and above. It basically allows you to chat with the affiliates directly from the dashboard area. So you can navigate to outreach and scroll down over here to chat with affiliates, click on open chat. And from here, we can actually enable it. So you can click on the chat settings and enable it here and save changes. So from here, we can select the affiliate that we want to chat with. So for example, if you have a lot, then you can actually do a search. But for example, let's click into here. So this is the test affiliate account. And uh, if you talk over here, it's actually gonna appear inside their affiliate dashboard area. So this is really helpful if your affiliate runs into any issues, then they can contact you directly in their dashboard area. So it's on the bottom right-hand side here. They can click into it and they can talk to you. They can also attach stuff and add upload images as well. So this is a really cool feature and it just makes it really easy for them to get in touch with you without actually using any email. So another feature on the paid plan, which is on the growth plan, is gonna be the contact email white label feature. So over here, you wanna to navigate to the system settings general tab and scroll down to the contact email and you can enable this feature here. So basically what this does is it's gonna use your email address that you put in here as the sender's email address. So essentially what that means is basically when you send out notification emails to your affiliates, right now they'll actually be sent from the CCOM app domain name, which is up promotes sort of uh, email address um, and it will be a no reply. So your customers won't be able to reply to these emails. And if you have your own domain name uh, that you can send from, it just looks a lot more professional. So we can navigate back over here and enable this feature. So right now I'm just using a Gmail address. Uh, if you do have your own sort of domain email, for example, hello at sharkslippers.com, then you'll need to follow these steps over here to set up the DNS settings over here. So right now, because we're using Gmail, we don't need that. And you can just enable that feature. And once you've enabled it, then you'll need to verify that email address. So over here, this is the verification email. Then we can just click on that to verify. Okay, so once that is done, it may take a few minutes for that to actually apply those changes. And then basically when you send out notification emails, it will be sent from this email over here. So again, if you do have a domain name email, you do have to configure the DNS records and you can basically follow the steps uh, by clicking on read our documents and then uh, set that up really easily. The next feature that I wanna show you guys is the custom domain feature, which is on the professional plan. So you can actually click on the up promote affiliate, which is gonna take you to the home section and you can scroll down to promote your affiliate uh, registration form. So over here, we can click on custom domain. So what this is gonna allow you to do is essentially it's gonna let you have a custom domain. For example, affiliates.yourwebsite.com so right now it is currently this one over here for your registration form. So by having the custom domain, it's just gonna look a lot more professional. So to set it up, it's quite simple. Click on custom domain. And then here you wanna enter in your custom domain. So basically what we can do is for example, let's just do affiliates dot, and then my website is called shark slippers v2.store and then here we can click on submit so before we actually do that we need to create a cname record so we can click on this documentation as well and it's going to basically walk you through the steps that i'm going to show you right now so what you basically want to do is you want to navigate to where you purchase your domain name so for example if i purchased it from uh, namecheap then what i want to do is i want to select the website and then from there click on advanced dns okay so i'm navigated to advanced dns and here is where i need to add the details so let's head back over here and here we need to create a c name with the subdomain that you want to use and direct it to the host name uh, affiliate partners up promote so basically we're going to select c name and then we can enter in the domain that we want to use so here let's go over here and then add a new record so it's gonna be a CNAME record. So for the host, the domain that we wanna use, so it's gonna be affiliates. 
And then the target is we're going to go over here. And then head back over here. Let's just copy the target. So here we're going to set it as automatic and we're going to save it. So once that is done, it's going to take a little bit of time for it to sort of uh, deploy. So here we're going to insert the custom domain in the field and then press submit. So just like we, we have what we've actually done here and then click on submit. So basically we have inputted the affiliates. So this is the main keyword and then dot our domain name dot store, right? So it's just submitting now and here it's basically the affiliates, right? So if you head back over here and then that one has been submitted. So now the domain name is going to look something like this. So affiliates.sharkslippersv2.store and then slash register. So you can copy that link, paste it in here. And then that's going to link to your affiliate registration form. And that's just going to appear a lot more professional. So what you also want to do after you've actually set that in, then you also want to make sure that you have changed it for your navigation. So if you add it into your navigation uh, earlier, then you want to make sure that, for example, that URL, it has been changed. So for example, here, this is using the old one you want to replace it with the new one. So just paste it in there, just like that. And then apply changes, save menu. And then same thing for your homepage. So homepage. So we also edited that on the bottom as well on the, I think the footer section here. So this is still, I think using the old link. So we do want to uh, customize that. So let's go to here and then click on customize. Let's scroll down to the footer section. So let's just click in that module. So here is the link, edit the link, paste in the new one, the link title, paste in the new one. Okay, so ensure both of the links have been changed. Once it has been done, click on done here, and then we can click on save. So when you hover over that on the bottom left, you'll see the link and also on the top. Uh, okay, let's just close this first, perhaps exit this first, view your store again. And then that's hopefully going to um, also link there. Okay, that's going to link fine. And then on the bottom, just make sure, um, you know, both the links are working. Okay, so I think that looks good to go. So basically now you have a custom sort of affiliates uh, page. It looks a lot more professional. So a really awesome feature, which is on the professional plan is the multi-level marketing feature, which is under outreach. So I'll show you guys how it actually works because I think it's probably very underutilized in a lot of people's affiliate programs, but you definitely should check it out. So we're going to click on set up here and here we're going to activate the MLM. So we're going to click on save first. So what we're going to do is add a few new levels. So the first one here is 10%. Let's just add a new level. So add a new level at 5% and then add another level at 2.5%. So I just want to show you an example of how it actually works. For example, we are selling watches and the average value order is maybe like $1,000. So David actually brings that referral. So a customer actually clicks on David's affiliate link. So he gets 10% of that $1,000, which equates to $100. Because Victor actually referred David into the affiliate program, he also gets a cut of that commission as well. So in this case, he gets 10% of the $100 commission, which is $10. Michelle, who referred Victor, she gets $5. And then John gets $2.50 because he referred Michelle in the program. So it really incentivizes people to sort of hire other or refer other affiliates to join. And you can also set in even more incentives. For example, you can set in a recruitment bonus of like $100. And then basically it gives them more incentive to sort of find other people to join as well. So basically it also allows people to earn more in the affiliate programs because they can um, get commission from their downline. In turn, it probably makes you more money as well. It does make the affiliates more money, but it makes you more money in the long run. So this is definitely something that you can check out uh, for your e-commerce store. And let's just click on save. So let's head to the affiliate dashboard. 
So in the affiliate dashboard, it will look something like this. So here we've got the network link and people can share this link. So we can copy that, share this link with their friends and they can sign up. And then basically that person will be under their sort of downline. And then on the dashboard area, they can click on the network and they can track their sales over here as well. So it's a really cool feature that you should definitely check out on the professional plan. So lastly, we're gonna talk about a feature which is called the auto generate coupon feature. And you can navigate to your settings area and then click on affiliate link and coupon. So what this feature basically does is it auto generates coupons for your affiliates when they join your program. So this is on the professional plan and above. Basically what we're gonna do is show you guys how to set it up. So we're gonna click on set up. So when your affiliates actually join, then once this is activated, it automatically creates the coupon for them that they can actually share with their audience. So we're gonna activate that and then click on save. And then what we need to do is to generate a sample coupon. So it basically is going to use the preset rules for the coupons which will be automatically generated. So let's create a sample coupon first. Here we're gonna select a program. So we're gonna select the standard affiliate program, but you can create multiple for different affiliate programs or you can select other ones as well, like this, both of them. Uh, but I'm just gonna keep it as this. For the coupon names format, I'm gonna select first name, but you can select name or you can select random letters as well. So I'm gonna select that one. And then for the suffix or prefix, I'm gonna select the suffix. So basically it's gonna appear after the affiliate's name. So let's just say, for example, you wanna offer your affiliate 10% off to share with their audience, then maybe I might call it like one zero, 10. Uh, if you offer 20% off, you might call it 20 or it could be any random number or even any random alphabet, right? So I'm just gonna call it 10 like this. And for the sample coupon here, what we have to do is basically create a discount code in the Shopify admin first. And it's basically gonna apply the same rules that you set. So click on create a discount code. And then here we're gonna create a discount. So we're gonna do a amount off order. And then we're gonna create a discount code. So this could be sample discount. And then for the percentage, I'm gonna offer 10% off. So when your affiliates share with their audience, their audience gets 10% off the entire uh, cart value. So you can set up minimum purchase requirements or other sort of uh, limitations of how it can be actually used. You can also set in the dates as well, but I'm just gonna leave it as defaults and just click on save. So once you have created that sample discount coupon, it's going to basically apply these rules for the other auto generated coupons that are created for your affiliates. So I'm just gonna paste that in here, save it and that's done. So you can also click on the auto generate coupon for existing affiliates in the selected affiliate programs as well. If you have affiliates which have actually joined before you activated this auto generate coupon feature. So you can click on that and auto generate it for them. So what we're gonna do is actually do that and I'll show you guys uh, what it actually looks like in the affiliate dashboard area. So let's go to the dashboard area here. Let's refresh it. And then here with the coupon code, it is Hogan 10. So this is the auto generated coupon code that your affiliates can use and share with their audience. So this is a really cool feature because then you don't have to create a specific coupon code for them. It can be automatically generated uh, once they actually sign up to your affiliate program. So this concludes the tutorial for UpPromote and how you can easily create an affiliate program for your Shopify online store. From here, you can definitely check out the paid plans. For example, the growth plan, I really like the customer referral. If you're a little bit more serious, then you can check out the professional plan. It's got a lot of the features that I talked about towards the end of the video. If your affiliates are driving more than 600 referrals every single month, then you may need to check out the enterprise plan. It also allows you to have multiple stores and other advanced features as well. If you have any questions, you can drop it in the comment section down below. My name's Hogan and see you guys in the next tutorial.